Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the very first episode of Duel Night. This is a draft series that's going to be happening bi-weekly. So there's two episodes every single month. The first episode, which is airing right now, today, is going to be all about Legends of Blue Eyes White Dragon. is coming up so it's a bi-weekly series it progresses from the very first booster set to the current booster set that we have right now so it's gonna be a very fun draft series with four players and I cannot wait to showcase you guys what we have in store for this awesome Legends of Blue Eyes White Dragon gameplay. Guys, we worked super hard on this series. Hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't already, and be sure to smash that thumbs up button. All right, guys, don't waste any more of your time. Without further ado, we're starting with episode one of Duel Knights, Legends of Blue Eyes White Dragon. All right, guys, here we go. episode will be tackling the very first Yu-Gi-Oh! booster set, Legends of Blue Eyes White Dragon, that was released back in March 8, 2002. Highly sought after cards include the Exodia set, Blue Eyes White Dragon, Dark Magician, Red Eyes B Dragon, Swords of Reeling Light, Dark Hole, Red Geki, Pot of Greed, and Monster Reborn. As the first set in the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game, Legend of Blue-Eyes White Dragon introduced players to the game. Important features and concepts introduced with this set include Normal, Effect, Flip Effect, and Fusion Monsters, as well as concepts of Normal, Tribute, and Fusion Summoning. It also introduced players to Normal, Equipped, and Field Spell cards and normal and continuous trap cards. So that's some of the basic highlights for Legends of Blue Eyes White Dragon. Let's introduce the players real quick. Yo, what's up everyone? My name is Steven J. Trifonoski, or some others know me as Triff Gaming, the Pen God. Uh, I have a YouTube channel. You guys can check out all down here below. You can go check it out. But anyways, I'm hyped to be on Duel Legs, baby! Because today, I'm gonna take the crown of the champion. I can't play pendulums, but maybe I will. And I'm gonna duel off against Sam, Denzel, and Milano, and they don't set a chance because my strategy. I know when draw time comes. I know my strategy, and they don't call me Carver Boy for nothing. That's all I gotta say. Hello, everyone. My name is Denzel, and I'm very excited to be on Dual Nights. Definitely think out of all the competitors, I'm gonna be the best one. I've known Sam for about five, six years, and every time we faced off, I beat him every time. Steven's another one on my hit list. Don't know much about Milano, but it's okay. They're all gonna get the work. And one thing about me is you already know my strategy from the beginning. Keep it real, kids. This is it. This is what's going to win me the game, I guarantee you. Yo, what are you saying, everybody? It is your boy Milano from the channel Milano the Duelist. I'm here at Duel Night, ready to duel everybody I see. I'm so excited to be here, especially for LOB, Legend of Blue Eyes. That is an awesome set, you know what I'm saying? Just the starting gateway of Yu-Gi-Oh. I gotta say, my favorite card for Legend of Blue Eyes is Gaia the Dragon Champion. I always thought Curse of Dragon and Gaia were like kinda underpowered, but still, you know what I'm saying, together, they come together, ready to deal the smoke. You already know. You guys all know me, my name is Sam from Team Samurai X1. I love Yu-Gi-Oh, I love Legends of Blue Eyes. I cannot wait to tackle this set. You guys already know my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh monster is the Blue Eyes White Dragon. You already know, Kaiba's my guy. Let me tell you guys right now, these guys don't even have a chance. Now, since all the players are introduced, you guys are probably wondering, Sam, how do we play Duel Knight? What are the rules? Well, let me show you. Welcome to Duel Knight. This is a brand new draft series where four players take their deck building and dueling skills to the next level. Starting chronologically from the very first booster set, each player gets the draft from the deck box containing three of every card from the current set. It goes like this. 
The booster set for each episode will be divided into four piles. One for each player to draft a single card from and switching piles afterwards until there are no more cards left to draft. Each duelist comes up with a 40 card deck using their drafted cards, dueling one another in a best of one. The winners of each duel will proceed to the finals battling for the title of champion. The victor gets the spin from the magical wheel, allowing them to pick a card from the deck box on the following episode. The deck box continuously builds as each set progresses, adding the best cards from previous sets to the arsenal. Watch as the four of us duel it off to see who can become the master of Duel Knight. Let's begin. So yeah, it's pretty simple, right? Every episode, the deck box will be split into four. Each person gets to draft one card, rotating until there are no more cards left to draft. And then with the cards we drafted, we need to build a 40 card deck, dueling one another in a best of one. The winners proceed to the finals and see on who can become the master of Duel Knight for this episode. For the following set, which is gonna be Metal Raiders, we're gonna add cards from Metal Raiders into our deck box. That way that our deck box progresses every single time as a new set releases. It's gonna be super duper exciting. If the rules are a little bit complicated and new to some of you guys, it's okay. I promise as the episode progresses, you'll understand exactly on how this draft series work. Let the draft begin. All right, let's go. So we're each gonna pick one card. Once you pick that one card, <laughs> is, is that nice ready? Go, go. All right. All right. These are fast, man. Steven, you're getting too hot. Oh, yeah. This is what you guys are like, trying to put a tent in. I don't need my combo. I'm trying to get it. But you'll show some respect when I two all you in the best of one. Right. <sighs> Yo, I think my deck's broken. <laughs> Relax, bro. Maybe I'll take a little extra time. There's no eight what? scales. There's no eight scales, I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> but there is level eight stars. Blue eyes, baby. Let's go. It's <laughs> 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 probably the worst Yu-Gi-Oh card ever made. Five stars, thirteen hundred attack, sixteen hundred. No, they're worse. They're worse. They're worse. <laughs> Yo, my deck is so good. I love my deck. I love my deck. One orange. Yeah. I'll take late blue. I look. You're green. Thanks. All right, guys, so our draft is concluded. I'm super excited to see what strategies each of us uh, has come up with. Third All right, points. guys, let's leave our decks and get ready for the duel. All right, let's begin. All right, guys, here we go. This is probably the best way to see who faces who. Under these cards right here, we got two Dark Magicians and two Blue Eyes. We're gonna do a Silent Library kind of thing, you know what I mean? So we each pick a card. Whoever matches, that is your opponent. Okay, let's go. Right. Peace, you guys got it? Yeah. All right, without further ado, let's begin. Coming first. Yep. Yeah. All right, let's go. One, two, three. Oh! <laughs> let's go. Oh, you're going down, bro. You're done. Let's go. <laughs> no way. It's it's on. On. So super excited, just finished my deck. Here's the deck list right here. Basically what I came up with is three strategies to defeat these boys in gameplay. Starting off with my first strategy, I'm gonna use the Swords of Revealing Light. This card is gonna be used to stall out the game so I can set everybody up for the next card I have in my deck, which is Regeki. And once I've cleared the board and there's nothing left for them to defend, we are gonna bring the ultimate wizard in terms of attack and defense, the Dark Magician, to end the game. So my deck is incredible. The main strategy of my deck is I bring out the boss, the best card in Yu-Gi-Oh history, baby. Blue Eyes, White Dragon. I put on a lot of monsters in the field to be able to summon him. And the second part of my strategy, with all the monsters that I have on field, to tribute summon for all my blue eyes, I protect them and destroy the problem. There's not a lot of traps in here with two prong attack. And the final part of my strategy to ensure victory, there's only one way to defeat three blue eyes, baby. There's only one way. And I drafted it so it can't be used against me. I'm Kaiba getting the fourth blue eyes. Dragon capture charms. Ha ha ha. Now they'll never be used against me and I'll destroy everyone.
So going into drafting, my strategy was polymerization. Now you may be wondering, why would you choose polymerization? That's a minus two when you use two separate monsters, but what people don't understand is I managed to get my hands on the Gaia the Dragon Knight champion. And what he brings to the table is a 2600 body that doesn't even require my normal summon. So I was able to get all the pieces in order to complete my strategy. And the final piece of my strategy comes from the Red Eyes Black Dragon. Everybody was hype over the blue eyes, everybody was hyping over the Dark Magician, but to me, Red Eyes Black Dragon was the most underdog pick, and that's why I like Joey. He was always there to prove people wrong, and that's what my Red Eyes and me are going to do. Here is my deck list. As you guys have seen by my necklace, I have a bunch of high defense monsters. In my deck list, I have Mystical Elf, Spirit of the Harp, and also Aquamador. I want to try to set up as many high defense monsters as much as possible to eventually stall until I draw Exodia. Guys, my strategy for this deck is to literally to connect all five pieces of Exodia together. And you guys already know what happens when you connect all five pieces, you win the duel. On top of that, I drafted high defense cards such as Trap Hole. This card's absolutely phenomenal. Anytime a monster is normal something with a thousand attack or more, I automatically get to destroy it. So Trap Hole is pretty nice for my stall strategy to summon Exodia the Forbidden One. It's time to duel! Let's go. Rock, paper, scissors. Always rock, because I'm hard as rock. Okay, who's first? You're first. All right, sounds good. Good, good luck. luck, my friend. Good luck, Yugi. Because you're going to need it. We'll see about that, Yugi. Wow, my hands. Amazing. Okay, for my first move, I'm going to set one mystery monster in face down defense position. And I'll pass my turn to you. I'll draw. Lots good card. For my turn, I'm gonna normal summon the 13th Grave in the Pendulum Scale Zone and then attack your monster in face down defense position. Wow! 1000 defense. Destroyed it! The 13th Grave gave your monster a sudden straight to the grave. Done for. Done. And I'll pass. Draw for my turn? Yep. And the card that I have drawn. Is <laughs> <laughs> the Celtic Guardian <laughs> oh, no. in attack position? Oh, and I will so attack good. the 13th Grave. Ah, oh, so I take 200 damage. And That's I will end my turn on that one. That's a strong boy. I will set one monster and pass my turn. Draw for turn. All right. I will enter the battle phase and Celtic Guardian will attack your mystery monster. Soul Servant. See ya. And then I will set one mystery monster and end my turn. So what I did was I set one mysterious card face down and I knew I had the Celtic Guardian to back me up. But in my hand, I had the Dark Magician knowing what his demise was going to be for the future. Draw. Oh. I'll set a mystery monster myself and I'll pass my turn. Draw for turn. I'm going to flip my face down monster. Oh, man eater bug! Which is the man eater bug. Oh my god. Which will destroy your set monster. Oh, my turtle finder. With so high defense. And I will have Celtic Guardian and Man Eater Bug oh. attack your life points directly. Oh. And I will end my job. I'll draw. So this, I knew he was gonna set one because his defense was very weak. So what I did was I flipped my monster, the man eater bug, to destroy his monster. And now I would have two tributes for my ultimate wizard in terms of attack and defense. Oh, man, this Celtic Guardian is powerful. I think I, I think I just gotta lose the game, man. I don't, I don't think I could beat this Celtic Guardian. I'll set one monster and I'll pass my turn. I'm going to draw for my turn. <laughs> and I will enter the battle phase. Celtic Guardian will attack this. You attack my giant soldier of stone! Oh. <laughs> Good luck beating this guy. That's the problem. Psych! <laughs> Not today, baby! I will end my turn on that. That's what I thought. You're not passing this guy. It's thick. Oh! First card, Mr. 
The Dunzel. The Exodia's left arm. <laughs> the thinking here, you know, I'm going to have to pass my turn myself. Then I will draw for my turn. Yes, you will. So now I have him exactly where I want him. Two monsters as tribute fodder and his giant soldier of stone, which he doesn't think that I can get through. But I know in my hand I have the answer. The man, the myth, the dark magician tributing my two monsters and destroying his giant soldier of stone. See ya. And I have drawn the card. Oh no! 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 Shoot. No! Yeah. no. Yo, no. no! No! So I will sacrifice two monsters. And in attack oh. position, I will summon the dark magician. That will go right through the giant soldier of stone. Oh my See God. you later. Uh. As I will set one mysterious uh. card. And end my turn. This is not good for me. I'll draw. Oh my god, not I can deal with this dark magician, man. This is gonna I think I just lose the game. <sighs> you know, it's really funny, Denzel. Your play was so good. But not good enough! Dark hole! See you later, Dark Magician! Dark hole, baby! Get that dark magician out of here, bro! No chance! Have a nice life in the graveyard! But hold on! It's in the graveyard! Why don't you have a nice life? On my field! Force of Reborn! The Dark Magician! <laughs> Let's go! It's my Dark Magician now. Dark Hole? Out of all the cards he has, he has a Dark Hole. And to add insult to injury, he's gonna Monster Reborn my wizard to his side of the field? No. I knew it was all going downhill from there. And then a normal summon, Root Water. And an attack directly for 3,400. Let's go. Jesus is right. He won't save you today. I'll pass my turn. But with the heart of the cards, I will never lose. With Yugi by my side. So seeing as those are some big monsters and you have taken my strategy and used it as your own. <laughs> Dark Magician is the superior card. I will set one mystery card. Yes. And end my turn. Better not be a man eater bug. That better not be a hain hain. You need to just get back to Dark Magician. That would suck a lot. I normal summon Frenzied Panda. That's a, that's a card right there. This might be Hain Hain. I might have to think correctly with this strategy. You're at 3400, so you're at 4600. If I attack with Dark Magician, I can't risk the Hain. I have to do some more damage. I'll attack with Dark Magician. Giant Soldier of Soul. And I'll attack for 2100 damage. I'll, I'll accept that damage. <laughs> yeah, you will. And I'll pass. <laughs> Draw for my turn. Oh, what a groovy card. So I just took so much damage. But now I have the cards that's part of my strategy to get me back into this game. So now I will activate the Swords of Revealing Light. Oh I my god. <laughs> Three extra turns. Oh and my god. You cannot god. attack until the end of the third turn. You're and so I will, lucky. And I will set one mysterious That saved monster. you. I would have destroyed you with your own monster. Draw a pass my turn. Swords? Who plays this card? This guy's just stalling for time. Karma. I think I'm just gonna have to pass my turn here. Okay. One turn. Yes. And I will draw. And for my turn, I will set another. Oh. Uh -oh. My turn. I field. will draw for turn. I'll put both of my monsters in defense position. And then, I have to set a mystery. I'm to destroy your swords of green light. I'll pass my turn. So that is at the end of the second turn? For so Yes. And I will draw for my Sure. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> oh, don't tell me you have a Dark Magician. You better not have a Dark Magician. You better not. Dark Magician and Swords of Reeling. Bro, you're not Yugi. There's no way. What, what did you say? I said you're not Yugi. There's no way you can have Swords to save yourself for two turns and then have a second Dark Magician? There's no way. So what you're doing is you're baiting me out. So that is not Sure, good. yeah. Hey, feel free not to summon Dark Magician. He's the best monster in your deck. Just wait till my best monster comes out. 
Just wait. No fear. I'm going to set another mysterious card. That's fear that I smell, Denzel. I smell it like a shark. And I'm all for blood. I am going to flip my drooling lizard. <laughs> Dro drooling lizard. Whoa. Whoa. Sure, bro. Sure, sure. I, sure. You're lucky there's a hundred more. You're lucky. And I'll end my turn. My turn. I draw for turn. Ah, oh, that's not what I needed. But you're only alive for one more turn. By, by my lucky graces. I think I'll have to think here. I'll have to set one monster. And your Swords of Ruling Light is destroyed. As is your hope of winning this game. Unless what? Oh my god, you have another one? <laughs> There's no way, or you don't have a Dark Magician either. I'm, you don't have it neither. Unless what, my friend? Can I go? Yeah, you can go. Draw from my Just turn. don't activate another Swords of Ruling Light. If you have another Swords of Ruling Light, I will be pissed. Oh my god! For my turn, I will Oh my god! The Centaur Swords! Is this guy Yugi? Are you kidding? He's just delaying the inevitable. I'm gonna just win after this Swords. These flip too? Yes, they do. Expose your strategy. <sighs> Man, this is not good for me. And you said I did not have. What was the card you said I did not have? You don't have so you do not have two swords of revealing lights to save you from my big field and a dark magician. You don't have it. You're just lying. And you know what? It's okay. Cause swords will still save you in three turns and then I kill you. So what I will do now. Let's pass your turn. And let me draw my arm ninja to destroy your swords of revealing light. Is I will summon the trial of nightmare. Trial of nightmare. Wow. In attack position. Wow. I'm so scared, bro. Nah. You don't send a chance. Bro. You will attack your fancy oh. panda. Oh, I thought you had 900 attack. That's going to be a no for you. And I will end my turn with Swords of Revealing Light being <sighs> fresh. Draw. Oh. <laughs> Play it. <laughs> I'll set one card and pass. Draw for my turn. I will use Trial of Nightmare to attack your Mr. Terror of the Terrible. Which was my first Yu-Gi-Oh card ever. That's congratulations. Thank you. I remember I won a track and field the second place medal, and this kid thought he ripped me off. He thought he ripped me off. He said, hey bro, I would like can I have that medal? You like Yu-Gi-Oh cards? I'll give you a Terror of the Terrible and a basic insect for your second place medal. And I said, yeah, and he thought he ripped me off. But I'm a YouTuber. Where is he? Let's go. I'm very proud of that that story. Nice. And I will also end my turn. Okay. I will draw. Ah, oh, it's not what I needed. I'll set one trap card or spell card, and I'll pass my turn. Second turn of Swords of Revealing Light. Yes. Draw for my turn. And what I will do is set another mystery card. <laughs> and then my turn. <laughs> so this is your last turn, correct? To do what? Of uh, the swords? Could be. You do not have a third. Stop. This is just impossible. It's your turn, right? Go ahead. I'll have to set one, and I'll have to pass my turn. So that's destroyed, correct? See you later. For now. I'm, this is just no way. I'll actually <laughs> I'll draw for my turn. And what I will do is activate Goblin <laughs> Seeker Remedy. Wow. Increase a selected player's life points by 600 points. Choose myself. Wow. <laughs> Be scared, my friend. Be scared. So what I will do is set my monsters in defense position. And my turn. And I will set one. Uh oh. Uh oh. My turn. Yes. I will draw. <laughs> it's over for you, my friend. It's over. Wow. Wow. Oh, do you have any response? 
No. Okay. You ready to lose? <laughs> <laughs> you ready to lose? You'll be laughing That's all nice. the way to zero life points. I sacrifice my two defense position monsters, Armored Starfish and Turtle Tiger. Their sacrifices will not go in vain. But boys, White Dragon! And now, unactivate my monster special effect, Red Lightning Baby! This signal's there for you! Oh, you thought you didn't have an effect? I'll activate my spell card. Red Gecky! <laughs> <laughs> Destroy all monsters on your field! A blue eyes white dragon, and on top of that, a regeki to completely blow my whole board away? I knew right then and there that I was done. And he also had my dark magician and attacked me with it to finish the game. Absolutely devastating. Plan backfired. I enter the battle phase. And I attack with my... No, you know what? Blue Eyes can take a little chill break with your own Dark Magician to end the game. <laughs> What's that? Easy money, baby. There was no doubt that I was going to win. But I'm not here to win semifinals. I'm here to win the finals. So I'm going to go finals now. We'll see how my Blue Eyes strategy goes against Milano or Sam. All I know is that this tournament is going to end in one way with all of us having fun, because that's how Yu-Gi-Oh should be. But also with me winning, baby! See you at the top. All right, Milano, you and I. Let's do this. This is the step to the finals. Are you ready? I'm more than ready. Let's go, rock, paper, scissors? Yeah. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot, or rock, paper, scissors? Rock, paper, scissors. Okay, rock, rock paper, scissors. scissors! Paper gang, baby. You can start, Milano. All right, good luck. Good luck. It's time to do Let's go. I like this. I'll start off my turn by setting one monster face down, and then I'll pass my turn. Draw for turn! Okay, okay. All right, Milano, I'm gonna do you better. I'm gonna set one card face down. Oh my God, guys. My hand isn't the greatest right now, but I'm gonna set this mysterious card and hope for the best. And in my turn. All right, I'll draw. All right, I'll normal summon the Furious Sea King. And I'll flip summon my enchanting mermaid. Okay. I'll enter the battle phase, and with my furious seeking, I'll attack your face down monster. Haha, <laughs> joke's on you! Mystical elf! Yes! He attacked into my mystical elf! Guys, I told you, my strategy is coming in play. 2,000 defense is pretty big. Mystical elf? Two th I have nothing to beat that 2,000 defense in my hand. What am I gonna do? <laughs> then if that would bring my turn to a wrap. Your turn. All right, Milano. Draw for turn, sir. Wow. This is kind of nice. This is what I'm going to do. All right, Milano. What you, got? what you got, Sam? Show me. I'm going to make sure that your life is a little bit lower than it is now. <laughs> Smart! <laughs> ah, this card it. says inflict 200 points of direct damage. Triple his life points. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and with that being said, I have my turn. All right, I'll draw. Okay. Perfect. I'll activate my stop defense on your mystical elf, oh, turning oh, into oh, attack oh, position. Oh, oh, oh. Stop defense? Oh, the perfect card I needed. Stop defense? What? No! That's a card that beats me. No! Right, I'll enter the battle phase. Okay. And with my enchanting mermaid, I'll attack your mystical elf. Sure. Okay. And directly with my furious seeking. Right. And then that'll be it. That's the end of my turn. All right, draw. All right, I'm gonna do you one better. All right, let's see what you got. My name is Yugi Moto. Source of revealing light. Flip all monster boy controls face up. This card remains face on the field for three of your opponent's turn. While this card's face on the, on the field, Monsters your opponent controls cannot attack. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm Yugi, baby. Let's go. Sword of Revealing Light stalls me for three turns. I got this, guys. I almost have all the pieces in my hand. So you cannot attack me for three turns, Milano. Well. I end my turn. All right, let's see what I got. Draw! I'll turn my monsters into defense position, and I'll play one more face down, and then I'll pass my turn. All right, Milano. Well. Oh my god, guys. This set monster just might win me the whole game. So that's one turn off Sword of Revealing Light? Yeah. Draw for turn. I had my turn, Milano. All right, I'll draw. 
Oh, flip summon. My own oh, no. oh, oh, oh. And I'm stuck here. You're so of really late. And then if I can select the spell card on the field and destroy it. So destroy your sorts of revealing light. Oh Lay waste to it. Arm Ninja! <laughs> Arm Ninja, the perfect card to get rid of his sorts of revealing light. Looks like it's in the bag, Sam. I'll tribute my Arm Ninja for my Curse of Dragon. I'll turn my mermaid to attack position and my furious seeking, and then I'll proceed to the battle phase. And with my furious seeking, I'll 800 to your life, 1200 to your life, and 2000 life, total 4000 to your life points. This is not good. Wow, our ninja is crazy. Is that, is that, is Holy <laughs> moly. And that'll be the end of my turn. My crystal dragon had my back at all times. All right. Yugi, heart of the cards moment right now. <gasps> All right, Malala, this is gonna be perfect and beautiful. All right. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> What's it got, man? What do you got? I set one card face down, and I set another card face down, and I end my turn. All right. Draw. I'll summon my Nimariku. My Nimariku. Okay. And then I'll proceed to the battle phase. Sure. And with my Curse of Dragon, I'll attack your set monster. I really hope that's not a mystical elf or a giant soldier of stone. Right leg of the forbidden one. <laughs> <laughs> no Rico, attack! The Furious Seeking, attack! Enchanting Mermaid, lay waste the tower! I lost, guys. My exodus strategy didn't work. Guys, to be fair, my first opening hand was two removed traps, okay? Sojin, Mystical Elf, and an Exodia piece. My only goal was to make sure my Mystical Elf lived, but she didn't! <laughs> my Exodia failed, I, can, I couldn't connect all five pieces. Good luck to Milano in the finals. Here I am, I made it to the finals. Sam was a bit of an easy match, but Steven, I'm out for you next. Good luck, you're gonna need it. Finals, bro. Good luck, man. You know the US Act Champs, right? I hate that you had to work for your spot here at the finals, and I'm just gonna have to selfishly take it away from you, bro. But that's what I have to do. The even only thing you'll be selfishly taking is an L, bro. But that's okay. <laughs> but all I know is it's gonna be a great match, bro. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, oh play, baby. <laughs> Rock gang. Rock gang. It's, it's time, time to duel. Good luck. Good luck, bro. I'll play down one face down, and that'll be in my turn. Good strategy. I draw. Hmm. I will set a face down defense position monster and I'll pass my turn. Alright then. I'll draw. Gotta check my extra deck. <laughs> 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 I'll flip some in. Typhoon! Typhoon! Whoa! And my Typhoon will attack your set monster. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do to that. Except for 2 300 damage to your life points! 1500 defense, turtle tiger, baby. Alright. I'll pass my turn at that. Your move. I'll draw. Alright, I'm gonna set one monster and face on defense and I'll pass to you. Well, alright then, I'll draw. I'll enter the battle phase. And with my Typhoon, no. I'll attack your set monster. No! 200 more damage! Let's go! I'm building a wall. A right. great wall. I don't even want Steven to get a chance to summon a big monster like Blue Eyes or Dark Magician. So that's the reason why I'm gonna Dark Holes Field while I still can and preserve my life points. In the second main phase, yes, I'll use my dark hole. Oh! I do not want to see a powerful monster on the field. Oh my god! You're lucky. I'll play a monster face down. Uh oh. And pass my turn. I will draw. <laughs> Set one mystery monster face on defense. What's with all the setting monsters, bro? Just attack me. I will with my blue eyes when I draw it. I'll pass. All right, draw. One step closer to success. I'll trip you summon my oh, furious seeking no. for the Curse of Dragon! A Curse of Dragon again? 2,000 attack for just one tribute? Man, I love this card. Oh my god. And Curse of Dragon! Not this attack! Ah, oh, I defeated my first monster, man. Alright, I will pass my turn. I'll draw one card. Oh my god. I think I lose this one for sure. Man, this Curse of Dragon is a real problem.
Not Fisher! See you later, buddy. Have a nice life in the graveyard. Ultimate Fisher, which destroys a one face of monster with the least attack. Bro, my Curse of Dragon, that's one of my best cards. Well, now it's the graveyard's best card. And after Fisher, I normal summon from my boy Kaiba, the hit on the Giant, and attack for 1200! I'll take the 1200. And I'll pass to you. All right, part of the cards. Draw! It's not what I needed. I'll pass my turn to you, Steven. Oh, fantastic. I draw. Oh, this is not a good card for me, but it's good for this scenario. Lobos of the Root Water. Oh, man. One of my favorite cards in this deck because, I don't know, I... First one, I'll take both. That's right, you will. So, yeah, I'll pass. Draw. I'll summon. The 13th oh, grave! Oh my god, not yes. this card. 13th grave, attack the oh. root water! And that's gonna be the end of my turn. I draw. Hmm, this is some tough choices here. I am gonna set one monster and face on defense. And I'm gonna pass my turn. Alright, draw! Uh oh. What are you what are you going in for in there, bro? I got a plan. Uh-oh. And it's coming soon to theaters near you. Uh-oh. Enter battle phase. Uh-oh. The 13th grade will attack your set monster. Uh oh Oh, another damage! What I got so much defense points! Alright. strong, man. In the main phase two? Yes. I'll activate my right kick. Alright. Oh, right. Get out of here! A man once told me, stick to the game plan. That man was Steven, and I didn't want him dropping a Blue Eyes or a Dark Magician. I don't want to see two monsters on the field at the same time. And then I'll pass my turn. It's not a good card. I want to sell one card. All right, draw. I'll summon Mammoth Graveyard. Oh, Shout out to Yugi. God. And then I'll enter the battle phase. If this card has 1,300 or more defense points, Mammoth Graveyard attack. Honestly. That's 2,000! <laughs> Let's go. My boys like to eat pizza, baby. And that'll be it. I'll pass my turn. Draw. I will pass my turn to you. Draw. <laughs> <laughs> that card's pretty strong. That giant soldier stone of yours, eh? Yes. How many cards do you have in hand? Five? I have six cards. Six, okay. One of them is a Monster Reborn, one of them is a Polar Reorganization. <laughs> <laughs> I'll play one set card, and I'll play a face down monster as well. Passing my turn to you. I draw. Think wisely, Steven. You only get one shot. Oh, I will. One opportunity, and I'll pass. Draw! Come on, I'm not getting the card I need. I'll follow it up with another pass. To draw. Come on, heart of the cards, man. Heart of the cards! <laughs> <laughs> what did you kill? Come on. I got a very powerful monster. Show me, come on. Or spell. Or spell? I won't show you. Use it. No. Why aren't you using it? Because. Alright, let's see what I you I need got. one more monster. And you know what? Mr. Milano? What's it gonna be, Steven? I will pass it off to you. Again? Oh my god, you're just feeling too confident. Draw! Nice. A tribute. Oh no. My Hinotama soul, as oh. well as my 13th grade. No! Summon! No! The Red Eyes Black Dragon! Dragon! Oh my god! Oh boy, it's coming out. Red Eyes Black Dragon. Let's go, baby. Red Eyes! Oh Attack the Drag Soldier of Stone! My friend, I'm sorry. Mammoth Krieger, to his life point! Alright, that's gonna be it. Draw. My Red Eyes. Always I had my back. Yeah, as eyes. I was waiting for it. Man, this red eyes has been causing me some problems this duel. But not anymore, baby Dark Hole! See you later, bro. See you later. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love Dark Hole, but not when it's used against me. You know, sometimes in life, there are winners and there are losers. And we're both winners. Are we? Yeah, that's about it. You're a good guy. Yeah. No, but somebody's got to win in this duel. Yeah. And his name is Steven J. Javanovsky. No more son in mythical sheep attack for 800. Oh, you're right. It's not the mythical sheep. It's mythical sheep number two. <laughs> what you'll be after this game.
Oh, don't take that damage. I hope you do. Politely. Yes. And I'll pass my turn to you, All right. Mr. Milano. Draw! I'll summon Dark King of the Abyss. Oh my god. And then I'll use the Monster Reborn. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. So, oh my and then god. I'll enter the battle phase. Do you guys see the board right now? I made sure to summon a monster with less attack than Red Eye, just in case Steven had the fissure, so my Red Eyes can stay on the board for a longer time. Dark King of Abyss will attack this, this mythical sheep number two, and then Red Eyes, Infernal Fire Blast directly! Yeah, 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 all right. Here we go, and then I'll pass my turn to you. I need some You're gonna need some luck right now. cards, man. I literally think there's only one card in my deck that saves me. There's only one card, man. Please be it. Rikeki. This one, this isn't it. I have to set one monster. I'll pass to you. All right, draw. I'll activate stop defense. Flipping one of your oh defense position monsters God. into the face up attack position. Oh and if it has a flip God. effect, it will not be activated. Oh. I'll normal summon my enchanting mermaid. Enter battle phase. Mermaid into the middle oh. machine number two. 400. Oh. Dark King of the Beat of this directly and to finish you off. Inferno Fire Blast! Red Eye! Wait, wait! What? Don't do this. I'll go off. I'll jump off the table. <laughs> <laughs> You're today's Duel Knight champion. Yes! Hey, I just won Duel Knight. Let's go. I get to choose a card for Metal Raiders next time. I, have, I don't even know what I'm going to pick, but I'm so excited. I had so much fun drafting. I'm glad I got to pick the strategy I did. Even though I didn't get to use Polymerization into the dr Dragon Champion, I still think my red eyes had my back the whole time. I lost, guys. Milano didn't spare me. But that's okay, because I wouldn't have spared him anyways. But hey, I, you know what? I had a blast. And that's the important part. When you're playing Yu-Gi-Oh! with friends, it's about having a great time. And that's exactly what tonight was. I had an absolute blast. And, uh... You know what, that's not that important. The important thing is that I lost! How did I lose? How did I lose? The next time I'm winning for sure. But shout out to Milano, he played fantastic with this drawing a one of searchable monster report in a 40 card deck, the non-searchable. But I'm not so mean. It was a great game, and I look forward to the next one. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for episode one of Duel Night. Guys, we had so much fun. I had so much fun. I cannot wait to tackle into Metal Raiders. It's going to be an insane episode, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. All right, guys, so keep on dueling, and I'll see you on the next episode of Duel Night. All right, guys, peace.